Monday, November 10th. Let's talk about Roy Moore, the Republican nominee for the Senate from Alabama. Really wonder about people sometimes. You really have to when you look at this guy. Look, they keep calling him Judge Roy Moore. Let's look at him. Let's look at his history. Judge Roy Moore. This is a guy who was elected to the, to the bench and was removed twice because he refused to listen and follow lawful orders of a higher court. He just didn't care. So what good's having a judge if that guy who's a judge doesn't listen to other judges and they call him Judge Roy Moore? What are you talking about? He isn't a judge. So why do you call him Judge Roy Moore? That just gives him some type, confers some type of, uh, some type of like, he's the man. He isn't a judge. He's nothing. So let's remember, first of all, that Roy Moore was removed from the bench twice. Once because he wouldn't, he wanted to put the Ten Commandments statue on the front. It was in the front of the courthouse. They told him to move it because, after all, God is more important than the law. God is more important than the United States. God is more important than the separation of church and state. Sure, that's that's the way it is. Hey, this is the same guy who would probably have a heart attack if he thought that Muslim law was being used in, in America. What's the difference, Mr. Moore? If the Muslims want to follow Muslim law, you want to follow Catholic law, how are you any different? That's the first problem with this guy. The second problem is he has a charity. Supposedly a charity he puts out there for moral ethics or whatever. And he said on numerous occasions, I don't take any money from them. Why would I take money from them? Then we find out he's making hundreds of thousands of dollars from this charity. The man just doesn't tell the truth. Then we go forward and now hear that he's being accused of sexual harassment. Who knows? These days, you're innocent. You're guilty until proven innocent on most anything, not just this. If people say something on, on, on video, you're guilty until proven innocent. But you have to look at this guy's history, this guy's record. This is a guy who ignored lawful orders and had to be removed from the bench. That doesn't happen that often. How many judges you hear getting taken off the bench? That's why he isn't Judge Roy Moore. He's just Roy Moore. Then he goes out. And he's, and, he's, and he's making money on a charity that he's putting in his pocket hundreds of thousands of dollars and denying it. Then he gets accused of sexual harassment. And one of his supporters goes and says, hey, how's this any different than Joseph and Mary having Jesus? What? Talk about Quranic law. What? Look. Number one, factually, how long did people live back then? Till 40? Was 40 old? 35? Number two, what does Joseph and Mary and Jesus have to do with Roy Moore? Is Roy Moore suddenly holy? He acts like he talks to God all the time. And then he runs out with his little gun, pulls out his pistol, puts on his cowboy hat, runs around on the horses, and acts like he's better than everybody because he understands the word of God. And that I hope the people of Alabama don't put a guy like this into office. Think about it. He lies, out and out lies about the charity. He out and out ignores lawful orders by other judges that are over him. And then he's accused of sexual harassment. And you put it all together, you shake it up, and you wonder, what's with this guy? And when his supporters are talking about Joseph and Mary having Jesus as if this guy is holy? I really hope that the people of Alabama listen to this and understand it. Don't get their backs against the wall and say, wow, people are against our guy. Look at this guy. Understand this guy. This is a Trump supporter who runs around and doesn't care what the law says, doesn't care about anything, and doesn't mind lying to the people doesn't mind it at all. We have to stop people like this. This is where we have to stop things. Forget that we have extremists in this country. This guy is beyond extreme. He's a liar. He doesn't simply doesn't tell the truth. He thinks he speaks to God. He thinks God speaks through him. He ignores the law. He totally ignores the law and gets removed as a judge twice. And then he gets accused of harassment. You got to put all this together. You shake it up. It looks pretty musty, doesn't it? Wow. 
Wow. Guys like this? Guys like this are running for, for Senate from the Republican Party? Where are you, Republican Party? I'll tell you this. The Republican Party's on the way down. You can just hear that toilet flush. It's going to be very interesting what happens a month from now in this election. But watch this guy. Watch this guy. He's already telling us he doesn't tell the truth. We don't need another person like this in office. And remember, once again, this is the guy who will stand up and say, there's no Quranic law. Why the Muslims follow religious law when he is doing the exact same thing? There is a separation of church and state. There should be a separation of Roy Moore from government. And quit calling him judge. He's not a judge. Please, sub subscribe to us. Com comment. Follow us. Share us. This stuff's getting crazy. It's great. great. We're starting to build into 2018. This is going to be some real action. And the country will make it as it always does. Peace.